answers to paper four. Question one. The shape is not drawn to scale. Find the perimeter of the shape. The shape is regular. If we have a look at the shape, we can see that it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. And the fact that it is regular means that all of those sides are the same size, which is four centimetres. All shapes are named after the number of sides they have. A, si a shape with eight sides is called an octagon. Now we come to the perimeter of the shape. Each side is going to be four centimetres. So we have four, add 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 four. Or, put more simply, eight lots of four centimetres, which we can write as eight times four. And eight times four is 32. And we mustn't forget that it's 32 centimetres. Question two. This table shows where 100 people went on holiday in 2007 and 2008. Look at the table. How many more people went to Wales than to Scotland in 2008? So this first question, we need to concentrate on Wales, Scotland and 2008. And it wants to know how many more people went to Wales than Scotland? So we need to know how many people went to Wales, which is 28, and how many people went to Scotland, which is 13. We're talking about comparing more or less, how many more, how many less. And when we compare, we're finding the difference so it's a subtraction, a takeaway sum. Now all we have to do is find the answer to 28 take away 13. And of course it's 15. The next question, what was the most, most popular destination of 2008? So we're still concentrating on 2008 and we want to find the country that had the most visitors. And we can see that the highest number in the 2008 column is 28. So the answer is Wales. Question three, our Roman numerals. The first number, we have 10 and then two after it. 10 and two is 12. The second number is 1 before 5. Well, the number before 5 is 4. And we're doing a subtraction. 12 take away 4 equals 8. 8 is 3 after 5. So we shall write V-I-I-I. -I -I. Question 4. Fractions. 3 eighths take away 2 eighths, what does that equal? Well, we've got 3 eighths coloured in, 1, 2, 3. If we took away 2 of them, we'd have 1 eighth left, obviously. Um, but as with fractions, we can do this without a picture, because as long as the denominators are the same, we can ignore them and deal with the numerators. And we end up with 3 take away 2, which is 1. The denominators are the same, we need the same denominator on the answer. So the answer is 1 eighth. We don't need to simplify because the numerator is 1, so you can't make it any lower. Last question, our sweet shop question. How much change would I get from 20p if I bought some chocolate and a lollipop? This is a two-step question. Going to the shops is always a two-step question if they want to know the change. Step one, how much did you spend altogether? 
we bought chocolate for 10p and a lolly for 8p. So all together is 10p plus 8p, 18p. So that's what we spent. Step two, how much change did you get? So when I came away from the shop, how much money did I have left? Well, I went with 20p and I spent 18p. So now I've got 18p less than I started with, which of course is subtraction. 20 take away 18 is 2. And don't forget the P.